What we've tried to do from the beginning at Mill Park Soccer Club was bring the club together from seniors down to juniors to bring back that family feel that we had as, uh, as children growing up in um, soccer clubs. It honestly feels like I've been here for years. Just with everybody being so friendly and so welcoming, it honestly makes it so easy to be here. So I, I just, I love being here. Never have I ever been to a club that's so close-knit like this one. This is literally like my second home. I couldn't talk more highly of the club, actually. We've found a home as a family. Everyone just loves to be around everyone. It's fantastic. Mill Park has been nothing but supportive to us girls, um, as well as the boys and everyone else that plays here as well. There's, they always go above and beyond for their players and treat everyone like they're, they're a family. I think it's really important for clubs to be like us and to have that community side because it really helps keep your heart in it. Because at the end of the day, I think that's the only thing that's really going to keep you playing. Another one of our visions was to increase female participation in, in football. We want to grow the sport and we want to grow the, the, the women's game. I've been playing for a really long time and women's football was not a thing when I was younger. I think I played with boys up until I was like 11. It's really important just to get girls involved. I think what guys do, we can do too. So I think it's just been really important to ensure that the inclusivity is something that's really being considered. I think we're in a modern day now where it should really be normal. So it's good that it's all kind of getting at the level where we want it to be. From the start of the year, we advertised for females to play for free, um, which has helped and we've had an influx in um, the participation rates. Because of Razor giving us um, free membership for all female players at Mill Park this year, it's been a great way for um, female players to be more involved and inclusive in the in their teams and in the club. When Jimmy came on board, we wanted to grow the female game um, at Mill Park. Like it was, we had a couple of teams and you know, mostly struggling for numbers. At the beginning, we had a low participation rate. We were advertising online. We weren't getting a lot of female participants at the club. So we had an idea from one of the sponsors. It was a conversation the president and myself uh, had late last year and we were discussing how the numbers look very low in the female side of the, of the game. And so we came on as an exterior company and said to the committee at the time, well, if we can help generate more players, we'll help you out, but you have to set out the platform and let it go from there. He just said, I'm happy to sponsor the club, let's give them a free registration and entice them to join Mill Park Soccer Club. So we advertised it online, we used our social media platforms for that, and um, yeah, it worked. That was definitely the whole, the whole plan behind it, was to really bring females to our club rather than you know, give it a separation. And now we've got four solo teams, the female state two side doing fantastically well. The way we want to grow our club is all inclusive. So as I was coming down to training sessions to watch my boys, the smiles and the kids in it every week, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And you can come down now and it's just amazing. They've got four teams, the numbers have doubled, they're not struggling for players. So it seems like we've had success and the club's doing very well with it. That's what we've been lacking in the past is not having enough female teams in the sport, so I think it's a great way that allows females to be more involved. I think it's actually the first club where I haven't had to play retro as well and I've been playing for a really long time. Kind of makes the decision for you, like you see it pre-season, like you don't have to pay anything, like yeah I'll get down there and I'll go play. That also I guess helps with the inclusivity too because the word gets spread around and makes it a little easier for women to then want to be involved. That's how you really build the community of women playing soccer. We don't want to be a, a male club, you know, we want to be an all-inclusive club. It's very important, you know, and people feeling comfortable to come to Mill Park as part of their little family, away from their family, and that's, that's a key part of us, what we want to achieve as a club. I don't get to see a lot of the female side of the sport, but when I had got to see that, the talent was incredible. And we just noticed the growth every week. The female sport is getting bigger, and bigger and bigger. And for, for the club and myself, it's very exciting. We want to create a pathway for a younger generation, especially with the World, um, World Cup coming up 2023. Hopefully that assists next year in growing numbers. But you look at Sam Kerr, for example, being the English player of the year, um, what an amazing achievement. And we want to see more of that. And would love for one of our players at Mill Park Soccer Club to be, you know, in 10, 15 years, player of the year in England, that would be amazing. I think it's only the beginning. I think if we start really pushing things uh, in terms of women's soccer and really making it feel like we are just as important, it's going to help so much more in ensuring that for the years to come we are reaching that 50-50 inclusivity and I can't wait to see it happen.